Hi folks, today we are going to test a TDA7492P Bluetooth amplifier, but not this red popular one because I have unfortunately destroyed it in a previous video, but this blue one here. So as I have destroyed this red one, I have ordered this blue one that cost a half price as this one, and with some extra dollars it has arrived within two weeks. The first difference you might have noticed expect from the burn marks here is that this has buttons here and this not it is okay when you use it from bluetooth because you can adjust the volume skip and pause from your mobile phone the amplification level of the amplifier is fixed so the buttons doesn't make effect on the volume when connecting an input source this has an on off button and this not but as we already know that this doesn't make any effects when destroying this chip then it's okay like this. The next thing is this has the small switches and this does not. But if we make a closer look, you can see that there is a place for a switch, but it's not populated. But instead, zero resistors soldered in, so this means that they are connected to on. When we take a look at the documentation came with the previous model, we can see that this switch has a meaning, as with both switches off means a lower volume than with the both switches are on. Other than that you might have noticed that the old one has a built-in Bluetooth module while in the new one they have integrated the Bluetooth implementation on the board. But this time they use some unknown chip here. They also have removed the label here. The manufacturer is the same in both cases. First we are going to test it with these nice looking Pioneer speakers which is, which is rated for 20 watts. After that we are going to test with this bigger speaker set. Unfortunately it doesn't have any ratings on it. This time we are going to use my benchtop power supply set on 12 volts and we can see the amps here to find out the power consumption. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. As explained earlier, we have a higher amplification level as we have both jumpers fixed to an on-on connection. But you could also hear that we have a noticeable static noise. 
it would be a good idea to lower the amplification level because it will also reduce the amplification of the background noise. To achieve this, we need to remove both zero ohm resistors access jumpers and form an off off setup. Now with the big speaker the sound level is still ok and you cannot hear so much noise anymore. You might have heard it in the video but it's really loud. Overall it gets a bit warm, but not especially the chip itself, but the whole board and this regulator as well. I was frequently asked how much power does it drain and what ratings or power supply should be used for this application. And I could only say that depends on, on what kind of speakers are you going to use and what loudness you want to achieve. The specification says for this that it can provide 2025 watts. According to this, this module may pick up easily 50 watts, which is 5 amps on a 12 watt power supply. But in my tests, even with the big speakers, I couldn't manage to measure more than 10 watts, which is 1 amp in a 12 watt power supply. Personally, I would recommend a classic power supply with a transformer in it, this heavy one, because this cheap switching mode power supply may produce high frequency noises but I have tried it with this adapter as well as long as it can provide enough current for you and it could be also ok I have tried this one as well and as the background noise was already noticeable with, the, with this lithium battery it doesn't make any difference whatever power supply you choose when you want to go portable I recommend you using battery packs like this instead of using lithium batteries with this small and popular charger unit. Because it rated for 1 amps in 5 volts, so that is 5 watts only. Maybe when you want to drive it with smaller speakers. As a conclusion, I can recommend you this board if you don't take care about some background noise, especially if these jumpers are removed as you have seen in the video. But if you don't really take care about background noise and you want to go loud, then you don't really have to worry about these jumpers at all. But you might find products where these jumpers are not populated at all or a switch is populated here so you can switch off to a lower amplifying mode. In the next episodes I'm going to build a case for this around this lithium battery. That's all for now, I hope you liked it, thank you for watching, bye bye. Yeah.